Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepford episode 93. In the previous episode we renamed this area and we just took a peek at it and we didn't do much else. But we spent a lot of our time whoop, over here in Mr Toad's Hills working on the congestion problem in here. And if you will look at it, a lot of the congestion problem on this road now is gone. I mean there's still some slowdowns. But that's just usually vehicles cutting into each other. But the congestion's gone. Now what we did, in case you don't remember, is we took this exit here out, made it go underground, go around the city and come out here. So all of that traffic that would normally be over here is coming out this way. Now that solved a lot of this congestion, rather than the traffic lights having to switch and let them out and then stop and causing problems. They actually now can flip there without any real issues. However, there is still a problem. If you look there, you see all that congestion going down the back there. All of that, all of that, all of that, and all of that congestion is caused by this building. Now, a simple-ish solution is to delete that building, and that would force all those vehicles to go onto, a, onto the main road. Now, we can do that, get them all into here, but it is one train station for the whole industrial department. And honestly, a, a potential uh, option here is to build up a train station down here. Now I've asked for your advice already, but I think I might try this one out anyway. So let's give this a try. And if it doesn't work, I still want your suggestions anyway for better solutions in the future anyway. So for this, I'm going to want a road coming out there, a pretty, actually a better off is an angle. Well, well thank you, I haven't even realised I've done that yet. An angle is better. Um, an angle is better here, simply because it'll make them turn faster. Um, let's have that angle a little less like that. Get you back here. Go around that building. Can we move that building a second? Okay, right, thank you. Ah, move the building. Then make sure everybody's safe. Put it over here. And then I want the road again to continue around. This time I want to turn to a dead end there. For a moment, do this. And put a train station there. Train station! There you go, to the way. Trains! Your trams. Trains! You have trains. Yeah, trains. Cargo only. Cargo terminal. Pop it there. Remove that bit of roading. If you let me. And that'll be loading. There, so that should be a dead a straight in. Hopefully that won't be a problem. And now I get it into the train tracks. Luckily, the train tracks are elevated. Unluckily, they dip down there. So train tracks. Uh, unpause. Train tracks go from there. On a bend. Thank you. Uh, from there up to there. Okay, you're not gonna be you're not gonna, you're gonna play nice, we'll have to do this the awkward way. Up, up. And then from there, you go into that junction. You'll do it because I'm going to move your support pillars if I have to. But you're going to come over here. How about, how about, how about, how about? You pretend that you want to do what I asked you to do. And I pretend that I cared about what you wanted to do. Can I undo? Hey, it's undo one. Okay, how about we move the end piece of your... How about we move the end piece to where I want it to be? But bend like I asked for it to be. And you pretend that's what you want it to do. Sound good? Perfect. Can I have a road building, please? Thank you. Can you connect into anywhere? Okay, uh, move you, not you, you, back to there. Do that really quickly. Why can't you get it there? Ow, oh, you. Uh, police station. <clears throat> uh, go away. And crematorium. Yeah, you can go over there. And the train line can go hopefully back to where you were then. Like that, and um, we can put a new train line in. 
the road occupied now? Ah, road, go away. There we go. Now we just make that a little less crappy. There we go. I make you a little less harsh on that bend. There. You have a junction. It's not the best junction because you can't go that way. But it's open for business. Also appears there are traffic lights on that road. Boop, there you go. They're gone now. Right, now you need water. You're probably in power range already, so it's not going to be an issue. But we'll bring the water pipe up for you. Just check the power. Yeah, you're in power range. So that should get vehicles coming to you. When you get your water and you start your train runs. Now, I don't think I can get this in today without demolishing some more buildings. But I'm not entirely against demolishing some more buildings. Wow, we have a lot of death problems in this city. <sighs> I thought we'd move around into a new town. Uh, healthcare. More crematoriums, please. Let's go to Crematorium Hill, shall we? No more there? Okay. That is an overload of crematoriums, but hopefully enough to clear out that backlog. Alright, so you should now be accepting cargo. I didn't expect trains to arrive yet, but I, that's a short train. But I didn't expect. Ah, there we go. I didn't expect the vehicles to start turning up and start dumping some of their materials. And that should help out by diverting some of that cargo down this way. Because right now, these guys, this, what we got there, they're going here. It's, it's a closer run. Uh, there you go. And they're in. And they're straight in with no issue. And wait for these, then they come out, and they shouldn't, look at that, they shouldn't have an overlap. If we can do that over here, it would be great, but I don't think we have the road space for it. Although we should if we move that. One moment, let's move the police helicopter, it doesn't even need to be there anyway. Let's move the police helicopter base out near the, yeah, over here, near the, uh, near the, near them. Bus station, it has water, it has power, it'll be good, thank you. Uh, so let's remove this road. Like that, we'll keep the roundabout because that's just for you to turn around. And in case you make a mistake. And then we'll go here and we'll do the same trick. It's not really a trick, it's just something that you have to do occasionally to make things work the way it's supposed to work. So your exit is there. Could you not snap to the grid? It's really annoying. Thank you. Uh, let's do a straight road just to make sure we get this first piece bang on. To there, and then I think actually we could put a roundabout there. Get rid of that roundabout. I know, I know, I know. And have this feed that roundabout feed it. So if that works for us, we're going to want to move this recycling centre temporarily to there, and to get a better place for it. The medical helicopters depot doesn't need to be out here anyway. It could be anywhere. So let's put it over near the bus station. And the other second depot needs to stay local so you can go that side of the road. Alright. <laughs> a little angry you get with. Where was the road, guys? Can you guess? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's demolish that bit of road. Bring this up here and then put a roundabout in place. So this wants to be a two lane, so that's good. Um, two lane one way. So I want to have a. I want to have. Yeah, I want to have it be a normal road here. That comes out there. Ooh, can we have the sniffing back on again? Because the grid is off now. That comes up to there. Boom. Then it comes out here. And then we start building our roundabout. Now I want the roundabout to stop there. So, ooh, can we need the bendy tool? I'm going to get a biggish roundabout if we can fit a biggish roundabout in here. Yeah, we, we can't fit a biggish roundabout in, unfortunately. But we can fit a medium one in, maybe. This isn't quite round, is it? I've been kind of guessing with the angles on it. Yeah, uh, let's 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 do less guessing and less actual numbers. So we take you to the halfway mark. There. We should put you there. Then that will put you about. Hmm, I don't want to do that jump, does it? Do you to the halfway mark there, bring you down to there, and then the next one's gonna be here. 
And if that works, that should be round. Which means you, over here with your 2x2 two two road, 2x2, two two, you're going to go from there into there. And you, with your one by one road, because in theory you have less traffic on you, but everybody knows in reality that's not going to be the case. Like that. Oh, roundabouts and these guy lines. Just, just wrong. Oh, that's wrong. I can't fix that very easily so without just doing it, so I'll use a movie tool in a moment to fix it. Uh, that's fine, and then I really should actually have you be one way. So you're a one way road. Why you got the same symbol? Two lane, one way road. Like that. That'll stop maximum overlay. That's fine. And then here. We've been up the tool for lanes. You. You go to there. Or there, you can only turn. I want it to be one dedicated leaving lane because I don't want congestion caused by people being sat in the outbound lane causing issues. Like that. Uh, and then here, you get to go in and you get to not go in. Perfect. Now we'll unpause because this we should just let everyone despawn or get into the lanes they want to be in while we fix the road. It will be a perfect fix, don't get me wrong on that one. It ain't going to be perfect, but it could be a bit rounder than it is right now. Right, so where is the main problem? Main problem is actually this being oval. Mm. Move you that way a bit and take that as a little less of a curve. Would be better, which means you're going to want to be a bit more of a curve, really, to compensate for that. There we go. Right, so then you want to come out of it. Less there, a bit more there. It's not going to be perfectly round because there's not much room for it, but that should do a much better job, hopefully. There's still some old vehicles up here that are going to cause some problems. Uh, but we also have a power cable that we didn't resupply, so you just go boom, there you go. You can go boom, there you go. So that, in theory, should move these faster. We just need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, look! You went out of the way. And that should cause a lot less congestion there. And hopefully we'll start seeing this work better. That station's already flowing better. Still waiting for your suggestions, guys, because you might have a better one than I do. But that's still working better there. Because, I mean, they're going, I think they're going there way too slow for the amount of yield these things have. Especially if you've got five bays and only two overuse. But that's moving, that is moving better. Also, these roads are... Hopefully we're going to start clearing then. What I am going to do is find the bus stops like that. I might put a bus lane all the way at the back end here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a bus lane all the way at the back end so that uh, it doesn't look as stupid as it is. What's that one? The one-way bus lane beta. Well, it appears to be working fine. So, we'll do that. Let's do this all the way down here. Like that. Uh, to there. Yes, yeah, the inbound, so it is there. We'll flip them around because no buses go the other direction. There we go. Who are you and why are you on my bus lane? Okay, you're a police car, I'll let you off. Uh, that is done. We'll get rid of that overlap. You are building a box factory there for some reason. But okay. Uh, and then we can take the bus routes that are in this area and make sure they all use these back pieces for any bus stuff. No one's using the back pieces. Where are you going? I see you. Turn around. Good truck. Alright. That should take some of the congestion off the back piece here to stop them being just stopping in the road and causing problems. Can't do much about other places because they have to go down these little roads to do it, but that's fine. And that one's got a dedicated lane. This one over here could have dedicated lanes, but I don't think it has a congestion problem that needs to worry about it. 
Although now I can bring you back in. You actually couldn't do that before. But now you can come up here. You can go into that bus stop there. And um, you can go to that bus stop there. There you go. You can both have the same bus stops on the back road and service these areas. Excellent. And there is a bus stop there. Should we put your stuff there as well? Let's not. Let's keep you off for that one for now. But there we go. We have we have buses. Wow, this is really clear now, is it? What the hell's happening on this road? Okay, we're getting congestion due to vehicles wanting to do sharp turns. You go away. I don't care. Go away. I hate this part where they decide I'm just gonna change lanes. 90 degrees and go. Alright, how is this moving? Is this moving any better? <clears throat> I'd say it's moving better, but it's not the best. Hmm. How about... Is it, I haven't tried this. If we were to change that to a three-lane in... Over there... Uh, Two-lane in, sorry. Would that cause any problems? That road. Would they be able to use both lanes is the real question here. Ba, ba, ba. If they can, that would solve a lot of problems, but only if they can use both lanes. Can they use both lanes? We need to get that congestion vehicle out of the way first to find out. I like the fact there's a few HCV cabs just going in by themselves with no trailers. I like that little detail. Okay, they have both access, but I think the lane restriction is still in place. You can go... If I put you there for a second, let's see what happens when you get onto, on, onto the track. Will you cut across or will you uh, go in there? You do a weird turnaround instead. Well, that's just weird. Thank you, order save. And big truck is going to go and do that. So, yeah, that's not a viable option. Unfortunately, that's not viable. I was hoping. I was hoping a little bit, but no. Okay, put it back to a normal two-lane road then. I think this is about as optimal as it can get at this point in time. So we need to make sure that uh, restriction stays in place. Stopping the vehicles, but it seems the first piece has to be done. I'm doing that. You guys can come out and do that. Get to there and do that. And that shouldn't cause any problems. I mean, it's moving, but I'm not happy about the speed at which it's moving. Basically. Because uh, all these are still going to try and get up there, and they're all causing problems with each other. Uh, down here, we have traffic. So I think some of these guys are actually, are actually offloading down to here, which is great news. But, uh, yeah. This is still annoying me, though. Why? What is this causing? Why? 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 Why do you, why do you have so many problems here? I know what I could do. I can make that lane slower. See if it solves the problem. Um, show me the lane wide. And I want you to be... 80. I've had that go. Please think it goes all the way back. It does. And the other two... Doesn't go that far back though. That's fourth lane anyway. Goes back to there. No one, Nobody should want to use that lane because it should be uh, a slower lane. And then the other lanes are all 100. So hopefully that will start to show out their uh, their problems. Hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll get out of those lanes earlier because they're slower, basically. And then they'll probably be pulling into that lane to use it, but uh, that's kind of the hope. Although it does appear to be already... I wonder if Mickey Slow has done something with it, because they are still using it. Look at them. Even though the map says it's a slower lane. Hmm. Odd. Odd. Alright, but they are using that. That comes up here. That is ridiculously clear compared to what we had before. But it turns out not having to deal with cross traffic saves a lot of time. This hasn't really cleared many of you. Alright, how many criminal did they give you? And they're all in use. Wow. I need to put like a big crematorium block somewhere. Let's actually do that now before we forget. Uh, let's. This area doesn't have much on the line of congestion here. So let's make it congested, shall we? Uh, give me a road. 
standard road, you know, put some trees on it, make it nice and pretty. It's going to be uh, for the dead, so might as well make them happy about it. Uh, run that up here for a little bit. Like that. No traffic lights. There are traffic lights. But I don't want traffic lights. At that point. And then up this road here. This is going to be our death care facility area. And these guys are going to travel all over the city to help people out. Right, guys? And then they're going to make sure we have water out here, which they don't. So we want some water because crematoriums definitely need water. And there's no power this far out. So we're going to power cable to there. There they go. And you guys should all be... Have you got water in there? Yeah, you have. So they should all be... Look at, all, look at them all going. Look at them. They're happy little dead people carrying people. Yeah. All right. Well, while they go and uh, terrorize the entire neighborhood, let's... Uh, <laughs> Let's watch some cars get back to traffic jam. You know, considering the fact that most cars will will pull over and stop them to let a hearse out of a junction, and let the cars follow them come out, this would cause a massive tailback, wouldn't it? All right. Well, until next time, when the plague of crematorium vehicles return, let me know what you think of the episode and the series so far. And until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.